Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a problem from who wants to be a mathematician. This is from the 2016 Nationals and this problem has a golden flavor. We're going to see why. So now we have ln of x squared plus x equals ln x squared plus ln x. Sometimes people, when they see these things, they think that this is a rule, but this is not a general rule. This is a specific situation because the, the ln of a sum does not equal the sum of lns, obviously. It's kind of like the other way around. Or maybe we'll see what happens. Whatever. Okay. So on the right-hand side, we do see the sum of two lns. And as you know, if you have the sum of two lns, then you can write it as an ln of the product. By the way, ln means the natural logarithm. Okay. So we're using base e. All right, so how could we condense the right-hand side? Because there's pretty much nothing you can do on the left-hand side at this point. So the left-hand, I mean, the right-hand side, uh, so the right-hand side kind of looks like this, ln A plus ln B. And as you know, this is equivalent to ln AB, as long as this is well-defined. You know, A needs to be positive, B needs to be positive, so on and so forth. Okay, so the right-hand side can be condensed and I can write it as ln of x squared times x. Okay. Now, what am I getting from here? Well, uh, I'm getting a product, so that kind of looks like I can multiply them, right? Okay, let's see. Well, this gives me... This gives me ln x squared plus x equals ln x cubed because x squared times x is equal to x cubed, right? Okay, great. What can I do next? Well, forget about the lns. Obviously, one thing that we didn't check, and we should have checked that, is the domain of this function. Since we have ln x, it is defined only for positive x values. So x needs to be positive, and since this equation must be satisfied on both sides, then the left-hand side also has to satisfy. But if x is positive, x squared plus x is definitely positive, so we're good on that. Okay, great. So we only need x is greater than 0 as our conditions. Now we can get rid of the lns, which means you can do it e to the power ln something. Okay, if you want to do it that way, that's fine too. Like make it a little fancier. Okay, so like this. And then e to the power ln something is going to equal x squared plus x equals x cubed. Great. Now we, do, we did get a cubic equation, but this equation is very easy to solve. Let's put everything on the same side and factor out x so that it becomes, you know, quadratic times a linear factor, which is fairly easy. From here we get two things. x is either 0 or this expression here is 0. Okay, But that expression has a golden flavor. x equals 0 is not allowed because x must be greater than 0. So we're going to reject that and we're going to try to solve this quadratic. The quadratic should give us solutions, but remember x must be greater than 0. Let's go ahead and solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac, which is plus 4. And this is where the golden flavor comes in. Hopefully that makes sense. This is going to be 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2. In other words, we have two candidates. x is either 1 minus root 5 over 2 or 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now notice that root 5 is greater than 1, therefore this is a negative quantity. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to accept that. So the only solu solution that is left over is x equals 1 plus root 5 over 2, and that is the golden ratio. You can also use phi as a symbol, so on and so forth. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about this expression because I want to show you the graphical aspect and how it kind of plays out. And it's also interesting to look at these functions or equations from a graphical or analytical perspective, because it gives you a lot of good ideas. Anyways, now, what I did was I graphed both of these functions. What are those functions? One of them is y equals ln x squared plus x, which is the red one. And the other one is y equals ln x squared plus ln x, which we also wrote as ln x cubed, but x had to be positive. Just remember that condition. Okay, 
So these functions, these graphs will intersect. But let's go, go ahead and take a look at the red graph first. The red one, let me use the red color to box it so we can distinguish. The red one uh, is defined only when x squared plus x is greater than 0. So how is that possible? Well, x squared plus x is greater than 0 if x times x plus 1 is greater than 0. And if you make a table and use the method of intervals, this implies that x is either greater than 0 or x is less than negative 1. Because if x is less than negative 1, then you're going to get a positive product. Uh, and when x is positive, obviously, you're going to get a positive product. And so notice that we do have a negative 1 as our vertical asymptote in the middle, and we have kind of two branches. But the other function, which is the, you know, which is the blue one, uh, that only has one piece because obviously you can write it as a single logarithm. You can also write the ln x squared as 2 ln x and then the sum will be 2, uh, 3 ln x. So it's kind of like ln x function, the blue one, uh, but it's just a little bit stretched or compressed or whatever you want to call that. And they intersect at a single point as you can see here and the x coordinate is going to be the golden ratio. So our solutions or the only solution that we get from this equation is 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.